So we're going to get back to the fashion show now. The traditional attires of Kosovo and Metohaya are known for their rich styling and ornamentation. This costume is from the Koritiste Nilame, Kosovo region, south of Serbia. On her head is a hat made of glass beads, Gnilanski wedding hat. This costume features a wide sleeved blouse made of silk. Apron then comes with Prebojka, a wide go woven girdle of black homespun wool with fringes of varying length known as reske. The stockings are made of wool with various designs. The jewelry consists of a necklace made of beads, which is characteristic for this region. Srpska nošnja iz koretišta okolina gnjilana sa Kosova. Na ovoj nošnji dominira pregača, kecelja sa resama i pojas kolan ukrašen vezom. Na glavi devojka nosi svadbenu kapu ili gnjilanski svadbeni fes. And our models, Jelena Milosevic and Jessica Shrill. Next, we have a female costume from Leskovac, southern Serbia, from the beginning of the 20th century. Women wear weave skirts, vuta, colorful aprons, white embroidered dresses, dark yellow, richly decorated woolen socks that reach to their knees, footwear, opansi, and white kerchiefs around their heads. The male costume consists of dark trousers, cloth, white shirt, dark yellow, a small dark red sleeveless embroidered jacket, and black shubara, characteristic of highly shaggy fur cap. Ženski kostim iz Leskovca sa juga Srbije sa početka 20. veka na kojem dominira ručno tkana suknja vuta, predna kecelja bogato izvežena jelek, vezene vunene čarape i opanke. Muški kostim se sastoji od tamnih pantalona, krpe, bele košulje, tamnog jelaka sa malom tamno crvenom ukrašenom jaknom bez rukava i crnom šubarom. And our models, Michelle Lucic, Olivera Bogdanovic, and Radika Pratelic. Next, we have a female costume from the end of the 19th century from Eastern Serbia. Characteristic is the upper doublet, Lita, richly embroidered with gold string and tinsel. Below is white, hand-woven dress, knitted socks, opansi, and on her head, a scarf. The long Turkish rule left an incredible mark. Ženski kostim s kraja 19. veka iz istočne Srbije. Karakterističan je gornji haljetak, litak, bogato izvežen zlatnom žicom i šljokicama. Ispod je bela ručno tkana haljina, pletene čarape, opancija na glavi marama. Duga turska čladavina ostavila je dubog trag. and our two models, Ivana Siric and Angela Petrovic. <laughs> Up next, we have a female costume worn around the Belgrade region at the end of the 19th and beginning of the 20th century. It is made of wool and cotton linen which, with rich floral motifs. The vest is made of plush embroidered with gold metal tread. Single girls went bareheaded, while married women covered their heads with a headgear, often called oglavia or kondja. Ženski kostim iz okoline Beograda, početak 20. veka. Izrađen je od vune, pamuka, bogat je cvetnim motivima, a jelak je izrađen od pliša, izvežen zlatnom srmom. Devojke su bile gologlave, a udate žene su pokrivale glavu kapom kondža. And our model, Maya Dukic. <laughs> Women's folk costumes from South Serbia, dating from the 19th century. The girls are wearing nimiye, shall wear pants. Women's baggy pants made of silk with gold wire. Short handmade vest with golden wire braid and a hand woven silk shirt. The traditional urban dress of Branje is a mix of local tradition and oriental influences. Ženski kostim s kraja 19. veka sa juga Srbije. 
Karakterišu ga ženske pantalone, šalvare, od svile ukrašene zlatnom žicom. Kratak jelek, ručno rađen, zlatnim kajtanima i svilerna košulja ručno tkana. Nošnja u vranju je mešavina lokalne tradicije i orijentalnog uticaja. And our model, Slađa Novaković. The folk costumes of Vojvodina are usually of plain black and white colors with a more western influence. The ethnic groups of Srem, Baka, and Banat all have their distinctive costumes. Srem has elements of Central Balkan and Dineric attire. Baska has Central European influences and styles, especially from the Baroque style. Srematsky is distinguished by its characteristic whiteness. The skirt and blouse are decorated with embroidery on the top of a white lace fringe dinamon. The apron is black with gold thread embroidery. The short vest, yellow, and aprons are made of cotton velvet decorated with gold wire embroidery. Sremačka nošnja se puno razlikuje po dobu iz koga potiče, po kraju ili nameni. Odlikuje se karakterističnom belinom koja je ukrašena belim vezom, zlatom vezom, raspletima. Jeleci i kecelje su od pamučnog pliša ukrašeni zlatom vezom, nosila se i leti i zimi. And our model, Marija Kosić. costume from Zayacar, Southeast Serbia, from the end of the 19th century. Characteristic for this costumes are wool skirts, krechan, hand-woven and richly decorated with embroidery, floral pattern and front apron. Underneath is a white skirt and a blouse, a scarf and peacock feather on her head. Ženski kostim iz okoline Zayacara s kraja 19. veka. Karakteristično za ovaj kostim su bunena suknja, krećan, ručno tkana i bogato ukrašena vezom, cvetnim dezenom. Kecelja ispod su bela ručno tkana suknja i bluza, a na glavi marama i paonovo pero. Western Serbia of the 80s of the 19th century to the mid 20th century. Characteristic for this costume is waist coast vermin made of dark blue choya, richly embroidered silk cord with floral and geometric motifs. The trousers were usually of brown sayaka type of a material taken by the military uniforms from the same period as Shaikacha. They are characterized by tight stockings around the calf and sudden broadening above the knee, which are called ears. These people are still called brick pants. Socks are worn over trousers and reach down to below the knee. Knitted and made of black wool and embroidered multicolored wool, floral lines, shoes, jonasi, were made of tan cow thick soles, especially the tip, beak, that represents the decoration opanka. Svečana muška nošnja nošena u Šumadiji i Zapadna Srbija od 80. godina 19. veka do sredine 20. veka. Karakteristično za ovaj kostim je prsluk fermen, napravljen je od plave čoje, bogato izvezen svilenim kajtanima sa cvetnim i geometrijskim motivima. Patalone su napravljene od brown sajaka, tipa materijala, preuzete od vojne uniforme iz istog perioda kao šajkača. Odlikuje i uskim nogavicama i proširenju iznad kolana koja se zovu uši i danas se zovu brič. Pantalone. Čarape se nose preko pantalona i dospevaju do ispod kolana štrikane od crne bune, vezenim šarenom bunom i cvetni dezena, cvetne loze. Opranci i dionasi su napravljene od štavljene kravlje kože sa kljunom koji predstavlja ukras opanka. The Serbian costume from Kosovo, the late 19th century, belongs to a more oriental type. All metal wire parts of the costumes are modeled after the Constantinople fashion of Turkey. Costumes made by the so-called masters of Constantinople, Dedezine. Costumes could be heavy up to 15 kilograms, 
30 pounds. It is the one of the most beautiful and valuable costumes that were worn by the Serbs at the time. Serbski gradski kostim iz Prizdrena sa Kosova pripada nožni orijentalnog tipa. Svi srmeni delovi nožnje su rađeni po uzoru na carigradsku modu. Izrađivali su se carigradski majstori takozvane terzije. Kostim je mogao da bude težak i do 15 kg. Spada u najlepše i najvrednije kostime koji su Srbi nosili tog doba. And our model, Nada Martinovic, 